What's up guys, it's Alpha and I am back with another video. So for today's video, I'm going to be partnering up with Unite Hair to bring you all this salmon hair tutorial. So this is actually the hair that I wore on my birthday. My birthday was April 29th, you know, this past Monday. So, <clears throat> so they sent me four bundles of 613 blonde Peruvian straight hair in 24 inches with a 16 inch frontal. So I started off by using the Kiss colors in rose, gold, and salmon, and then the VA Living color in the orange color and so I started by just going ahead and bleaching the front two separately because I um, went ahead and watercolored the bundles but I just bleached the front not bleached girl I dyed the front two separately because I wanted it to be more intense so when you dye the hair like when you apply the dye directly onto the hair strand it's more intense than watercoloring but watercoloring is you know the easier method but I just wanted to do this to the front two so my hair could be more intense so I just went ahead and did this along the whole frontal so that's what you see me doing right here I just rooted it with the salmon color so I just took the um, the salmon color and I mixed a little bit of orange in it because I wanted it to be like a mixture of orange and salmon I wanted it to be more on the orange side for the frontal and I wanted it to fade into like the light orange when I watercolored it and I just watercolored it using the orange color from the VA um, living colors I just took um, a big bottle of that and used that on the bundles to watercolor it with a little bit of the salmon from the um, Kiss. But I honestly don't really like the Kiss colors like that because mm, I, they didn't really work with the watercoloring method. I'm going to retry them again because I really did like the rose gold color and the salmon color. I really did like those colors. So I'm going to retry it again with this method with the bundles as well because... With the watercolor method, they didn't really work, so that's what led me to use just the orange. So I'm just gonna shut the fuck up now because I'm just talking at this point. So I'm just gonna shut the fuck up and let you all um, watch me dye the hair. But um, I'm just gonna get this out of the way right now. The review on the hair, the hair is really good. I really like the hair. Um, it's giving me a little bit of shedding right now because I had to do this wig like three times, y'all. Like literally, I had to install this wig like three or four times because I made the wig. So when I constructed the wig, um, my dome hair is too big. It's not the same size as my head. So the dome hair was stretching out the lace since my wig half is so small. It was stretching out the lace on my wig. So when I put the wig on, it didn't fit correctly. It didn't fit um, firm to my forehead because my forehead is more narrow than the dome head. The dome head is more wide than my forehead. So right now is just putting the orange dye. I just took the orange dye separately in a bow and I'm just putting the orange dye in the front but I didn't really like the way this came out I don't know I just I'm just doing some shit I'm always doing some shit in these videos but yeah the frontal on my wig was too wide for my forehead to fill my forehead so that's why it was um, causing it to wrinkle up as you can see in my get ready with me that I posted along with this video if you go over and watch that video <clears throat> a little promo for that video so but yeah but I just want to include that I just wanted to include me making the wig still and me showing you all the that I do go through errors like every wig that I make is not you know perfect I'm not the perfect you know wig guru on YouTube I am just a regular bitch who just like making wigs and like playing in different hairstyles and different colors and stuff like that I am a regular ass motherfucker who just happens to record what I'm doing with a nice background and a wig stand and a camera and you know I'm just promoting the hair that company sent to me while having fun with creating my own looks and stuff so that's basically it I just want to show you all that you know it is error but it's trial and error so now that I've went through this I, I know what not to do and I know that I need to get my ass a smaller wig head because this one is too motherfucking big and her head is too big and my head is not this big so I'm just constructing the wig as I do in um, any of my hair tutorials um, in my last hair tutorial I further explained how I made the wig and stuff but in this one I'm just gonna let y'all watch me just uh, sew the bundles onto the wig but I make them the same in every video
Okay, so after I got done constructing the wig, I just decided to blow dry and put some crimps in it. And I got um, the crimper that I used, I got it from my local Ulta. So, um, my final review on the hair, this hair from Unite's Hair, it was very good. I liked it. I really liked the front to it and everything. It didn't give me any problems. The shedding, it did shed. Um, if you're not a big, huge fan of like shedding and stuff, it wasn't like, you know, excessive where it's like to the point where it's like, okay, this bitch is like, you know, shedding like a cat. It wasn't like that, but it did shed, but it is blonde hair. So keep that in mind. It wasn't like, you know, the best at keeping the hair on the um, weft and stuff. But it is quality, it is really good wefts, the wefts were thick. And I used almost all four bundles in the hair, so keep that in mind. And it was very easy to press out, it was very easy um, when I blow dried and stuff, it was very easy to blow dry. It didn't, it didn't give me any tangles and stuff like that, so that was good. So um, yeah, I would recommend this hair if you are on a budget and stuff. So also I want to just say, all of these hair videos that I'm doing is just giving you all the recommendations for for these different hair companies and showing you all like the different looks that you could put together and just giving you all some inspiration i'm just doing the stuff that i love i love creating these looks i love playing in wigs i love playing in makeup and just creating these looks for you all so um yeah that's it if you don't follow me on my instagram and twitter they're both alpha lewis the third the tim is my youtube name um if you don't subscribe to me subscribe to me by clicking the red button down below and yeah i love you all so 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 much and i will We'll see you all in my next video. Bye, bitch.